Good afternoon, everybody. Tom here with TechOut. Today we're going to be checking out a new feature that is part of Mac OS Catalina and iOS 13, more iPad OS 13 it is now. As you can see here, we have my iPad Pro 11 inch, and this is an iPad OS right here. This is Mac OS. Um, my iPad is actually still running iPad OS, but this is being mirrored from my Mac via a new thing called Sidecar. And what that allows you to do is you can either mirror your Mac's display. So my Mac is over on my desk right now and it is displaying the same image you see here. So you can either do that or you can have it, um, you can mirror the display or you can use it as a separate display. Um, so if you mirror the display, my, my Mac OS, uh, my Mac screen right now is resized for the iPad, so my Mac is not actually using its full screen. So if I, build, if I mirror, uh, mirror the built-in retina display, it will readjust for my retina display, and this one will be off a little bit. So if you plan to use that, just, just adjust it for whatever screen you're using most. Um, or you can use it as a separate display, as I said, and that allows you to just use this beside your Mac. You can drag all the windows over to it as a second monitor kind of thing. But if you want to leave your Mac over across the room and you know be able to see and interact with your Mac on just your iPad, just use this as a AirPlay display. Um, you can also turn on the sidebar and the touch bar as well. I'm not going to turn that on right now because in the beta it kind of messes up the resolution. But you can show the touch bar as well if you have a touch bar Mac Pro and you want to use the features of the touch bar. Um, so right now to interact with it you have to have an Apple Pencil. If I just touch it's not going to do anything, I can't click on anything. But if I, you know, if I double tap with my Apple Pencil, it does um, allow you to, oop, it looks like I'm doing other things here, we're going to get rid of that. Not what I wanted to do. Anyway, we'll ignore that for now. But you can open up, you know, you can open up Safari, stuff like that. I don't think I have double tap enabled on the Apple Pencil, there we go. Um, so the double tap's not working, I didn't enable that. You can pull up, you know, web pages and everything like that. You kind of use this as a... Um, like a way to scroll it still is a little bit glitchy in the beta with like tapping on things and stuff like that but it looks like it's going to work pretty well when it's actually working I don't know why I can't click let's see let me go to settings real quick and go to the sidecar settings let's see we're gonna turn off double tap and see if that fixes it nope see it's letting me check things but the the windows don't want to close. Come on. Like I said, it is still a little bit buggy. The video and everything like that is pretty much lag free. There's no issues there. It's just, like I said, it's not letting me tap things as easily as it should. Normally it lets me drag these windows around, but of course for the video it's going to want to act up. But anyway, you guys get the point. That's how it works. You can just go to sidecar settings on your Mac, you can connect to your device, it'll show up. Um, or you can go up here to your AirPlay menu and you can choose, you know, there's my Apple TV and then my iPad right here. And then all you have to do is just disconnect from that and it, now it's going to work. Okay, so now, now the tapping is working, I don't know what that was about. But you can see here, yes I need to clean my screen, blah blah blah. Um, you can go to YouTube, you can do all that kind of stuff. If you want to scroll, you just use two fingers and it kind of acts as a trackpad. Like I said, you can't touch with your fingers. And we just lost the connection because my Mac went to sleep. But anyway, that's how it works. You guys get the point. Like I said, it's still kind of buggy in the beta. This is the first beta. But I expect this to be a really nice feature once all the bugs are ironed out and it is working better. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. As always, have a great day.